Let's learn about dysphagia in a minute. Dysphagia refers to difficulty in swallowing. The causes of dysphagia can be pre-esophageal or esophageal. Pre-esophageal is further divided into oral and pharyngeal. The oral causes for dysphagia can be due to defective mastication such as prismus, defective lubrication such as in serostomia, defective tongue mobility such as in tongue paralysis or palatal defects like cleft palate and also defects in the buccal cavity and floor of the mouth such as in Ludwig's angina. The pharyngeal causes of dysphagia can be due to obstructive lesions such as tumors of supraglottis, inflammatory lesions such as a peritonsular abscess, spasmodic conditions such as tetanus or paralytic conditions such as bulbar palsy. The esophageal causes for dysphagia can be three types. Lesions of the esophageal lumen which include stricture, foreign body and tumors of the esophagus. Lesions of the esophageal wall which can be divided into a hypomotility disorders or hypermotility disorders or it can be an extrinsic cause such as thyroid lesions, cervical osteophytes, vascular rings, Zenker's diverticulum and mediastinal lesions. The investigations to evaluate a patient with dysphagia includes radiography such as the barium swallow, esophagoscopy which can be rigid or flexible esophagoscopy, esophageal manometry, a 24 hour pH monitoring, a video fluoroscopy or FEES which stands for fiber optic endoscopic evaluation of swallowing.